Ooh, gauntlets. Fancy. Come now, yeah, something other than gauntlets. No. Plus two to light radius. Hmm. Let's bring my poison resistance up to respectable. Hmm. Yeah, let's fob off the light radius. If it were plus five, I would actually keep it. I can max out my light radius for those uh, tiny dungeons. Level four Nova when struck. You know what? That's far more interesting than 30 poison resist. Because I'll just have to suffer from poison. Hmm. Boy, that's that sounds like a bad idea all of a sudden. Gold, 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 gold. That's what we want. Hmm. I could keep gambling until I get gold. Let's not. Not a big deal one way or the other. Off we go to the dark wood. Siegmund has a better weapon now, at least, so maybe he'll be able to... How did you die? Oh, I have been here before. Okay. Onward, team! <laughs> the double axe. Love double axes. Right along. We're actually going much faster than I expected. <gasps> A chipped skull! Hooray! So glad I looked under that hidden stash now, even though I didn't really mean to. Yeah, now whenever Siegmund hits something, there's a puff of fire. Thanks to the fire damage on that thing. Here's fire damage on this, right? Yes, 11 to 15 fire damage. It's a pathetic amount, but you know what? It makes a little poof happen, so I'll take it. As I said, we do want to go after the Countess, so she should be around somewhere. Oh, who are you? Flesh Crow the Tainted? Ew. Ew. I don't want any of his things. Everything going all right? Oh. Rust Froth the Unholy, eh? No way. A little late to the party on that curse. Oh, well. I haven't talked at all about life and mana steel yet, even though there's a whole range of mechanics that go with it. If you're playing any kind of character who uh, fights monsters by clicking on them, I suppose sorceresses also do that, although they can no-scope people. But if you're playing a, a character class who clicks on monsters to defeat them with physical damage, you can get life and mana steel, which will help you stay alive. Life and Mana Steel are very, very small as a rule in the game. You'll only get like 2 and 3% of what you get back. This is further modified by facts about the monsters themselves. For instance, against skeletons, you cannot drain at all. It just doesn't work. 
They don't return anything. The amount that you get back is further reduced by Nightmare and Hell difficulties. So in order to get anything back, you either have to crank your damage way, way up, which is how most people do it, or actually get a whole hell of a lot of lifesteal items from lots of different sources. We're eventually going to want some of that for our minion, I think. But, uh... I don't know. Might be able to ignore it. We'll see. Ah, well. I could use the refreshment of a greater healing potion at the moment. Matter of fact, none of these monsters have anything that deals elemental damage, so take that back. Ooh. No. No, that's probably still junk. Search someone's filthy sheets. Why, what's this? A tower. The only one that can appear in the Black Marsh. I honestly wish there were multiple towers in the game, but... Ah, well. This place reeks of death. Wait, wasn't there another place that reeked of death? No, no, no. We sensed death within that place. That's, that's right. What is even going on in here, you guys? Come on. There we go. I'll take those chain gloves for the minute. They might possibly be better than the chain gloves that we're wearing. Nova is a sorceress spell that makes a ring of electricity shoot out from you, and it's really cool looking. So I kind of want it to happen, but I kind of also don't want monsters to hit me, so there are trade-offs. Oh, well, let's, let's see if it's something that we like. Cold resist, eh? A demon head? Woohoo. Yes, please. Oh, shoot. Well, that's a shame. I don't want those lapis gloves. Get out of here. One socket. Useless. A two-socketed shrunken head would be rather good. If it only had staff mod bonuses to things that we actually want, then it would be tip-top. I'd be very happy about that. You can kind of tell where monsters are on the far sides of walls. There's a line of sight thing that goes on, so like right now I can't see Dave's. But now that I'm on the other side, I can. I can. Well, you can see the little auras of light that monsters have. Back in Diablo 1, this was something that could prevent monsters from seeing you, and their AI would get extremely stupid. Monsters don't need to be within your light radius to see you anymore. Matter of fact, they can see you from a great distance away. Be careful crossing through thresholds at any rate. And let's not disturb the dead, shall we? If anything, our dead are going to do the disturbing. Something you may already have noticed is that this dungeon is much larger than the last time around. Another cute fact about Nightmare Difficulty is that many of the randomly generated dungeons simply become larger. More monsters, bigger dungeons, more loot, bigger numbers. Everything up, up, up. Bigger, bigger, bigger. That's nightmare for you. Kalasco. Ha! Kalasco isn't going to save you. I always get nervous whenever I walk through a threshold like that. Many deaths await you if you just charge through, well, if you're comparatively squishy like I am. A mere 316 hit points with all the vitality I've spent. You know, we may be able to walk on the underside of this pentagram here and not take any fire damage, although... 
Just in case I do take fire damage, let's put on my fire resist hat. That is fire resist, yeah, so I have some of it. Okay, well I managed to take some fire damage and I'm going to manage some more for a second here because I am running away from those monsters. Much more important. Oh, I'm still standing in fire. Well, that went about as bad as it possibly could. Here, I have one too, Siegmund. I'm a real trooper about all this. Aha, Wrath Growler. Yeah, we certainly want him to have the curse on him. Stone skin is rather hard for us to deal with otherwise. That wasn't too bad. Ugh, that is what I was saying about just running through thresholds. Oof. What a pain. Ah, you can see the door on the far side over there, so I'm going to go back this way. I don't feel compelled to completely clear out the entire dungeon. Really, we only want to kill the Countess, as she has a rune reward that she always drops. Then again, I'm trying to think of what rune I would actually want. Dull, perhaps. Twin axe. That's like a double axe, but strong. Hey! Lucky. This floor could possibly be very huge, but. Haha! <laughs> Entrance is right here. Hope you don't mind the roast, Dave. Jeez, I feel bad. Careful with that, gents. Yeah, let's just run past it this way. I wonder if I could decorate my house with a huge burning pentagram. Tell you what, I'll actually do that if I can find a means to keep it magically on at all times. Having them drop money like that is like prefabricating the the sales. Oop. Skipping the step. Fire enchanted mana burn. Well, it, mana burn is a blank anyway. Oh, down to nine days. That's a shame. Ghosts have somewhat of an inherent physical resist to them, so. They can be kind of tricky. Who are you? Ah! He is immune to fire. Must mean he fire enchanted. Yeah, okay. Having an enchantment on you grants you a bonus resistance to that element. And with certain monster types, since the Devilkin there has a higher fire resistance to begin with, that boosts him up into the 100% or more range for resistance. Monster resists not having a cap because they get to cheat. So my resistances are capped at 75, not that you would know that. I've gotten even close to testing it. But who needs resistances? I simply need to not get hit. That's going to be a little tricky on this particular run through, and I'm going to Turn on what fire resistance I can for the moment, I think. Jewels you almost always want to keep. Even if they're bad, they get used in certain formulae in the Herodric Cube. These can be very useful. At the very least, I would not want to be caught without any... Oh, that's the Countess running right at us. 
Let's uh, let's go around the other way if she's going to crowd that door. So many tiny doors. Mm -hmm. This is bad. You can see how much damage monsters do. Even with all the vitality points that I have spent. It's just absurd. Toss Goofy over there. There we go. That's... Nef ort um hmm. I seem to recalling I seem to recall wanting ort for something, Treasure but I hunting. can't remember what. Treasure finding. Yeah. I don't think we want Neff. I don't want a mana potion either. I want Goofy. Goofy, get out here. No slacking. Yeah. We don't need Neff for anything. That's way, way too low. Ort has a few uses. Amon is alright. A cask. That is an exceptional item. Hmm. Hmm. Ort. Ort, ort, ort. I already have an um. Hmm. I think the um can at least replace this if. Yeah, that can go... This we kind of want to keep. That we kind of want to keep. Ugh. You know what? I have a backup Tyrell, too. We can get rid of one of these. That is fine. Kept it for far too long anyway, probably. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Those riches will serve you well on the long road ahead. Oh, yes, I, I think so too. Oh, t shoot. I didn't mean to do that. At this rate, I'll never run out of gear. Rawr. Hmm, maybe that's okay. I don't want to talk to you yet. What do you have to say about... Where can I take you? Of the Forgotten Tower. Remember, wealth is as insubstantial as a cloud and passes as quickly. Ignore Geed. All that twitters is not bold. <laughs> you heard it here <laughs> from Warive about the Twitter. Good day. Warive's advice is like corpse gas. It befouls the air for a moment. And then it disappears. Well, that's that's a compelling case. I'll have to weigh the evidence of both sides here. Hmm. <sighs> I do tire of swapping that around. It's good to have a backup pair of gloves in case disaster strikes again, though. Onward and onward. Hmm. 
Ладно. Maybe I could get rid of the treads of Gathan. Bilehawk the Slayer. Hmm, well, not a Slayer of aught important. Game plan involves getting a lot more skill levels out of what we're using. Ooh, of course, the next couple of upgrades to that are going to be a little hard to come by. Oh, I see, we could have taken the bridge. Oh, well. Let's draft some into the skeleton wars. <laughs> you guys did not have rest in peace written on your headstones. I suppose they could be women too. I really can't tell just by the skeleton. Not at this resolution anyway. Now, every now and again I'm going to be on top of a monster instead of right near it for the curse. I'm not going to flagellate myself over minor inconsistencies like that. Doesn't matter all that much. Not from a distance, anyway. Oop. A dark stalker. Isn't that a game? Dark stalkers? That's bound to be a game. Every possible combination of the word dark and dragon is a video game. Oh, you are extra fast, among other things. Looks like cold enchanted as well. Yes. See the venom, the witch. Well. Well done, Daves. Ah, you are teleportation. That could be a problem. Back in the day, teleportation was one of the worst mods that could ever happen to you on a monster. It, would just, it was seriously disgusting. What a monster with teleportation would do is hop away and heal up to 30% of its health. So if the monster was any kind of tough or you were slow to kill it, you would never actually win. Ooh, an unraveler head, though. Let's see. And again! Bone spirit and two so you river. It's just going to be very difficult to find a shrunken head that we actually want, isn't it? Yeah, it's come to think of it, I might have to pull some rather fancy arithmetic to get the shrunken head that I want. I'm gonna have to prepare a full apocrypha for that, I think. Oh, there was a unique over here. I'm sorry, I missed it. Bane Crow. Oh. Rest in peace, Bane Crow. <laughs> what am I talking about? Over here. We'll win out eventually. I 
Every action he spends resurrecting someone is an action that he does not spend sending a fireball our way. And if you're close enough, he'll prefer the fireball. Oh. What's this? You are extra fast on Cursed. Well, that's not so big a deal. Oh, in case you couldn't tell by now, another feature of Nightmare Difficulty is that there are many more elite monsters than before. Which is actually great, because... Oh, damn it all. Well, here goes that pair of gloves. I suppose it had to happen sooner or later. It's right on the other side of the door, I swear. At least I didn't immediately die. Could have been awkward. It's like, Daddy's home, and slice. Okay, that, that went all right. Part of the outer cloister always looks the same, so you can always find the waypoint right here. Oh, right, that has knockback on it, doesn't it? Unfortunately, knockback does not list a percentage. And it is not a guarantee. There's some hidden knockback resistance that monsters get, or something. Exactly what. Although you can do some pretty obscene things with knockback. If, for instance, you have it on a ranged weapon and you're an Amazon, and you have a huge multiple hit, you can keep monsters pushed back away from you for basically forever. Okay, well... At any rate, I, I admit that I don't fully understand the mechanics of knockback. Right, looks like this is where we want to Oh, now this could possibly be where we want to go. Section two out of three. Oh, how did this happen? Sorry, Dave. Hope you're all awake. The grumpy part of the little quill beasts here is that their little spine attack is extremely tiny and hard to see. Like, it is actually making a visible on-screen projectile. It's like, where the hell is it? Really? Okay, let's get on in here. We probably do want to find the Herodric Malice, because that will open up an imbue. And the imbue is going to be one of the centerpieces of our ultimate strategy to get a thinger that could be good. I mean, a shrunken head. Oh, you know what? This has two sockets. Huh. Hmm. Well, that might be just the thing. I think, in that case, I want Shale. Ah, ha ha ha! Poor Viper Drinker the Mad. Skeleton archers don't have any movement built into the AI. So I'm pretty sure that guy cannot actually teleport, even though he had the teleport ability. Poor sucker. I don't even know your name. Bane Bender the Howler. Well, we haven't encountered any monsters that I've really been after. Yes, I'm pretty sure that anyway, the rune word that I want to put in this is Shale F. Because yeah, Ortsol is the uh, is the head, the hat. Uh, I'm certainly going to look it up before I actually do it though, because I might be forgetting. 
At any rate, it's a rune word that will add plus one to skills. And the runes are easy enough to come by that it's not that big a deal. Maybe doing a couple countess runs to try and get the rune would be just the thing. Scissors, Qatar. Hmm, well, it's not terribly interesting. Oop. I wonder if the smith will actually be tough. I mean, he does hit very hard. He might actually be able to kill Dave. Tough as my skeletons are. So I think what we'll do is go kill Andariel, take a little break, I'll look up a rune word formula, and then we'll decide if we want to go kill the Countess a few more times to try and gather some runes. Because I think plus one to all skills across the board is pretty cool. And since I'm not going to be able to find a better secondary item for a very long time. It'd probably be worthwhile. Up, oh, there he is. Oh, cursed. Yeesh. How are we doing? Looks pretty good. No Dave's down yet. All right. Oh, an unraveler head. Let's see about that. Plus one to terror. 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 Cha. 